I keep trying to tell these people, I am the wrong Alice. They've got the wrong person. I have no clue. I've never been here before. I've never seen these people before. So, I'm not the right Alice. You should get it, the right Alice. Hi guys, it's Erica from Wicked Awesome Lifestyles. I am here today to bring to you down the rabbit hole with Alice in Wonderland. Uh, it's the Johnny Depp version. I cannot wait to see what everybody else is doing. I'm sure they have um, far better makeup looks, but when I watched Alice, she didn't have any makeup on. She was very pale and I opted not to do the completely pale. Just kind of went a little bit easy on them. Um, I do have a pretty cute dress on that was blue like Alice's, um, which I will insert a photo um, and I will insert a couple other photos of stuff. So I got chosen to be Alice whoop, whoop. and Uh, I decided that I'm going to dye the white roses red and I'm going to let you guys see that. So I'm going to go take a quick snapshot of the dress and I'm going to change because I don't want to get red dye on my new white jacket that I have yet to actually wear out in public. But Alice had a, a blue dress on so I thought I would do the whole blue dress. So I will be right back. I know in the movie, Alice's hair was always down and curly, but I just could not get it together to do that today. But this is my Alice in Wonderland. It will now be forever my Alice in Wonderland blue dress. Best part about the dress is it has pockets, which is holding my lipstick. Wait, can you see? Mm, bad, sorry. I also have very dark lips. I don't have any lips that have lipstick that was that dark. So, this is my Alice in Wonderland blue dress. Don't mind my dirty bathroom. Um, so, I'm gonna go change that blue dress so we can go dye some roses together. And I'll be back. Hey guys, I wanted to show you these. These are makeup brushes that Miss Kiki sent me as part of my birthday present that are all Alice in Wonderland. Are they not adorable? I didn't do a get ready with me today because I didn't want this video to be super butt long. Um, but I will be using them in my next get ready with me. Are they adorable? They're so pretty. Like I don't even want to use them. I just want to leave them so they're, they're, they stay pretty. Miss the cat. I love it. They're adorable. Thanks, Kiki. And they came in the pretty bag. So, I've got my supplies going here. And we're going to try and dye them and see what happens. So, I'm going to set the camera up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I literally have gone to... Um, this is the price tag on those. They say $25. And then the price tag up here says about $16.99. Do you see what these flowers look like? But I must tell you, they were the only. I figured after Valentine's I waited until after Valentine's Day because I figured it would be a fortune before Valentine's Day. So I waited until after. And then the problem was nobody had white roses left at all. So in the movie, let me see if I can move you up a little bit so you can see me. Um, in the movie, which I had to rewatch, Alice talks about dyeing the roses multiple occasions. So I'm just gonna pull the pull the roses out 
and I'm going to leave the rest of them to the side for now until I find a vase for those. So these are what my roses look like. I would have liked the big blooming white ones. Literally went to like five floors and they had nothing. So we're going to try two different ways at least of dyeing these roses. So I'm going to take a little bit of hot water and let the water heat up a bit. And the next best thing to Kool-Aid is I got these wild strawberry, I know they look pinkish to you, but they're not, they're red. Um, drink mix, which we all know, if you get them on your hand, you're, in, you're done for. So, I'm figuring I should be able to create pretty red, right? Where's my water not getting hot? It's just, all I did was pour one packet. I have a couple extra if I need them. If it's not red enough. So, I got the hot water. It's pink. Oh, hold that thought. Let me go see if I can find red. Okay. In my waist knot, want not. I'm going to take the strawberry one that came out pink. I don't want pink. I want red. So I'm going to pour this in a water bottle and drink it later. So, five to the side. We're going to rinse our cup. Fill it back up with a little hot water. And I found fruit punch flavored, which should be red. Let's try again. It's right on my finger. So, can we get red? We can get red. Okay. So my roses come in three bunches. So there's one bunch. I think we're going to dip and see how it goes. The other bunch, let me see which ones. We'll do, we'll do these ones. And they may take a little time to redden up. So, oops. Oops. Didn't mean to cut that one off. But since it's already off, I'm going to cut it short and see what happens. And then the third bunch, we're going to do a similar way. Okay. So these ones first, we're going to dump it, just dump them in the red. Uh-oh, maybe they need to soak. Maybe I should have washed them first. They look like Alice's one that she tried painting. All right. We're gonna let that, I think we're gonna add some more water to it. Just to cover the bottom of the roses. And since I watered it down, we're gonna add some more food. Some more um, coloring in there. Okay. 
and take the roses out and mix it up. I'm gonna place them back in. And we're gonna let those set. So far, mm, I don't think we're getting red roses out of those. But we'll see. We're gonna leave them in there for a little bit and see how they do. So the other method I thought was to try from the stem up. So I have some food coloring. This may take me a while. It's dripping out one drop at a time. That was thick. That one was thick. And I want to finish this one because I just don't want to leave a little tiny bit of red sitting around. So I'm going to pop it all in here and we're going to try and go from the stem up. And I know this will probably take a little while, so I will definitely give you guys photos of this later. Unfortunately, this video needs to be up before I have time to wait for these roses to turn red. So, thinking from the stem up, it's probably going to take a little bit. I'm going to pluck off all these little leaves that are on the sides because I want to just hit the stem. So I have two. I have the one that I cut off short by accident. I'm thinking it might work better on that particular one because the stem is shorter. So we're going to leave that like that. And I'm going to stick the long stem one in there too. And I have plenty more food coming, so I'm going to let this sit for a while and see what happens. Um, we're going to go that way. And then maybe, maybe, what if you take the stem? What if you take the food coloring and put it right in the center? Well, first of all, that food coloring was thick. Hold on. Hold that thought. Let's try this. Um, that's not going to quite drip the way I expected it to. Whoop. Um, all right, so Erica's having thoughts. How do we take this food coloring? We push it in the bowl. I just put the food coloring in the bowl. What if I dip it in? Well, that looks scary. That looks like bloody. I'm going to stick this in the bowl with the food coloring ones and see what happens. Actually, I'm going to cut the stem a little shorter. Stick in the food coloring ones and try not to get food coloring all over myself and see what happens. A little bit. Hey, I kept blue on for my, my face, 
So I have one more bunch of roses. And I was thinking, so these ones are not looking like they're gonna turn red. They look like that. But again, what if you went from the stem up? I don't know, if at some point in time I heard something that was like, you know, when dying roses go from the stem up, because I, I, I've got this in my head. So those ones are all stemmed out. Hi, Bubba. Bubba's like flowers? I want to try. I'm going to stick these guys that's in the Kool-Aid, so to speak. I'm going to stick these ones in this way and see if the stem absorbs up the color. Okay. So this is my dying adventure. Um, maybe I should have planned this better to do this earlier. Um, because this is probably going to take a little while to do. So I promise I will post updated photos um, of these. I mean, the stem is absorbing the color. Can you see it? You know, but will that bleed up? I don't really know. We'll find out. So we're going to leave all these roses. Hold on, let me take it down and show you. Sorry. Oh, and I can't flip the camera. Hold on. So this is my mess over here. Devin's going to come out and be like, what the hell is going on? So these ones we're going to try and dye with the food, with the juice. But we're going to go stem up on these ones. And this side, we're going to flower down and see what happens. Um, and then there's these ones that we're trying stem up. That one I poured the red on the top and then I stuck it in there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know. I will try and take pictures later and see how far they've come after a couple hours. And maybe tomorrow on my community tab, I will post an update. So, oh, hand not flipping the camera. So, you can see my ring light. It's great. Anyway, this is Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I was super excited to be asked to be Alice. Uh, wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do and hadn't seen the movie in 100 years. So, I had to rewatch it. Um, but I thank you to Kiki for hosting and doing the amazing ads, as always. Um, and... You know, I now have a science fair project going on. So, with that being said, make sure you publicly subscribe to everybody. There will be a card with the, all the channels listed as well as the giveaway rules. Um, and we will see you guys in the next one. I will definitely post updates on my community tab if you want to know how these roses came out. Holla. So, See you soon. Have a wicked awesome day, guys. Peace out. Quick update on my roses. All right, let me see these ones. Uh, I don't know how stem up is working on them. I don't see anything different. Let's see That one just looks like it got stuff from everything else and those i mean they're turning pink we'll see get those back in there and my stem up roses haha <laughs> do you see the pink coming through whoa oh god all right, I'll, I'll cut that later. 
All right, but this is the stem up and it seems to be working. See the paint coming through? I just, just knocked a cup over and drop off half of the food coloring. So I'm gonna toss some more in there and we'll check in in a couple hours. It's been like three hours, we'll see.